Hey YouTube. Thanks again to the, the new subscribers, as I always seems to start, but I do appreciate it. This is a very quick video on uh, this chain sharpener. Uh, I think I got it from Lee Valley, or maybe it's Oregon. I, I don't see a name on it right now, but it don't matter. Um, as you see on the side here, there's two thumb screws, right? It's a pretty, pretty handy rig, but uh, this here, um, you'll put this so, as you see, just enough to keep the chain, you know, from say if you're up here, the chain can go back and forth so it affects your cut uh, uh, filing. So it's, it's snug enough that you know it's not too snug where you can't move the chain, but uh, you know, that's what that's for, and then the other nut clamps it to the bar. This here, you adjust that so that it, it, when you move your chain forward, you put it against the raker, right? And it, it can't go any further, and then this will be lined up properly. This knob here is for, um, for uh, lowering this. So say you haven't got this exactly set up, you know, properly. You can raise and lower this thing so that it goes in the gullet you know properly and not too much uh this right here loosens this which um there's degrees marked there and you can't see that but trust me they're there and uh i file mine at 30 degrees so um i put it on 30 degrees right uh, this here is I never I, I go with zero but that's uh, the angle of it would go down or up by whatever way but I don't mess with that I'm not a professional so it works fine for me um, yeah as long as you mark your tooth when you start right it's fine and I don't have a tripod right now so so you just lift this up, you pull it back, right? I don't think I have it set up, so yeah, maybe I do. So then when you bring it down, that's the wrong tooth. <laughs> but uh, let's see if I can move it here. One-handed man. One -handed. Anyway, just a second. So you make sure you bring it back before you put it in and then it sits there and just put even pressure every time you make a stroke but you got to bring it up out of it bring it back put it back in again right so um let's see if there's a name on this no i don't see a name i think i got it from either Oregon or Lee Valley um, Yeah, if uh, Now I do file it usually I don't take the time to set this up, but Today I just wanted to make sure that I get them all even, you know, uh, I usually use This air and it's got you know the degrees you put it on Line up the line up that 30 degree, you know, not like this, but 30 degree like that uh, parallel with the bar and right so uh yeah if you ever seen one then uh well i know a lot of you got more experience than i got actually but uh, there's a few subscribers that are uh, that that pretty much do this for a living and but um if not if you see one of these and you're just a di like a, a homeowner that cuts his own wood um it's a pretty handy rig, but you you make you got to make sure that you have the c consistent pressure because if not, it'll do the same thing as as that, right? Uh, yeah. So just a quick video. On, oh, this is the this is the uh, Jerry rig I got, but I cut a piece of sheet metal, a circle, put it on a nut on a threaded rod. It goes through the bar. 
here and here and that's so that's so I can get an exact junk right now this this setup only works you know once you got your wood cut and it's all in your logs right all the, it's it's limb and everything that ready to be cut in junks this wouldn't necessarily work unless you put a, a magnet here which you can get a very strong magnet and I've I've done that um, and it worked fine you can take it off and whatever but it keeps falling off and and stuff after a while so I just did this uh, once it's all limbed and everything and you're ready to jump just works pretty you just you know put it up against your log here and cut put it up against your log cut no problem anyway that's the side step there that wasn't the uh, purpose of this video but uh, this is a pretty good rig uh, I don't know what you guys follow your chains at but 30 degrees is what is specified on the chain um, yeah so anyway guys uh, I hope you had a good weekend and I hope you have a better week